Thank you. All the way to the West End here. circumstances, today is a much better day anyway. We have a total of 104 graduates this year. This is also the first time ever Todd County graduation has been outside. So you guys are making games with you in person a lot of things. I'd like to get some introductions. Our school board, Deb Boyd, Linda Bordeaux, Michelle Allen, Tim Knoyer, Shelly Mees, our superintendent, Carol Galbraith, principal, Randy Perner. Special thanks to Pat Badhand and his family for the drum group, Mark Iatt for our music, the Hot County High School custodians, Chuck Wilson, the Hot County School District bus shop maintenance, Randy Gasson, Charlotte Bordeaux, and Brian Adams, Barry Bailey, Val Lardy, Connie Browning, Bernard Grimshaw, Phyllis Litton, Natalie Johnner, the Yancey Gunhammer. Without those people, this would not happen. Also, we'd like to give a special shout out. Graduates, if you could please shout out to your family because they busted their butts to get you where you are today. So family, thank you very much. Our class speaker is uh, Mary Lou Rich. Uh, it is online, it's done. It's on YouTube, it'll all be linked to the uh, broadcast of uh, graduation so please check that out also today's uh valedictorian speech has also been downloaded and that'll be linked as well and both speeches i've already seen and they're beautiful so mary lou rich and arvish vendor nice job so let's get started here with our valedictorian let's get started here with our valedictorian and our salutatorian this year's valedictorian is arvish vendor and uh i think Let's talk about our student board. Guys, if you come down. Class of 2020, thank you to all who are watching today and for understanding the unique circumstances around this event. A huge thanks to everyone who made this graduation ceremony possible, especially with everything going on. I also want to extend my gratitude to all our teachers and coaches inside and outside of the classroom. Not only have they taught us math, science, writing, and history, but they've also taught us what it's like to be kind, compassionate, resilient, and determined. Of course, we must appreciate our parents and families as well, who have helped guide our path with love and support. Many of us walked in our freshman year imagining what it was going to feel like to walk across that stage once we completed our adventure. We saw many of the past classes getting their moments, their recognition, and their graduation. 
We knew this was waiting for us too once we finished our journey through high school. But then the world was turned upside down and life threw a global pandemic at us. Why didn't this just happen next year? No offense to class of 2021. School was out of session two and a half months earlier than we expected. We didn't end up getting our senior prom, our spring sports seasons, or our senior class trip. For many of us, it was that Thursday on March 12th we spent our last time together in costumes under one building. But as they say in Mulan, the flower that blooms in adversity is the rarest and most beautiful of all. We've been dealing with issues from climate change, social injustices, gun violence, school shootings, racial discrimination, our own personal problems, and now this pandemic through our years in high school. But despite all that, it didn't stop us from getting here finally made it class of 2020. Instead of looking back on how this year could have turned out, it's time to look towards the future. We have to hold each other up to make sure we support one another through our post-secondary plans, whether that's going to college, getting a job, or joining the armed forces. We must stand together to make sure we end social justices, climate change, gun violence, and this pandemic, because we have the power to change it, and we have the power to shape our world. The workforce needs us more than ever. The world needs us more than ever. So let's get out there and get started. Congratulations, class of 2020. I hope we can have a very early reunion soon. Creighton University in Omaha, Nebraska, and Isaac will be enrolled in School of Mines out in Rapid City. We have two Todd County scholarships that are given. The first one that's up is the Jordan, Hes Jordan Irene Hespie Memorial Scholarship Award. Uh, first of all, for the family, congratulations to the class of 2020. On behalf of Jordan Irene Hespie Memorial Scholarship Committee, we would like to honor two Todd County seniors with a $500 scholarship to the school of their choice. Jordan was a 2015 graduate of Todd County. She was an outstanding scholar and athlete in basketball, volleyball, and track. She was a friend, sister, auntie, and daughter who loved by many. She is the daughter of Ken and Sandra Heskin of Michigan. The first recipient is Shallon Bordeaux. She is the sister of Jamie Bordeaux of Michigan. Shallon is an outstanding scholar and member of the National Arts Society and an outstanding athlete in basketball, track, cross country. She will be attending Hamline University in St. Paul, Minnesota. Our next recipient is Jacob White, son of Joey and Ken White of Mission. Jacob is an outstanding scholar, member of the National Arts Society, and an outstanding athlete in track, cross country, basketball, and wrestling. He will be attending Dakota Wesleyan University in Mitchell, South Dakota. Guys, after the uh, event here, if you guys could come down right now, we'll get a quick picture with Kermit. But after the event, if you come back and take a picture with the Hesky family and Star folks. Memorial Scholarship is the Jeff Harms Memorial Scholarship Fund. This scholarship fund was created in memory of Jeff Harms. Although Jeff's teaching experience at Lilburg Elementary was limited, his impact on student was epic. This year's award winners were Arvish Bender and Bryce Hammer. <laughs> guys, come on down and get a quick picture.
Okay, like we were talking about, this is the new normal. Well, there's nothing normal anymore. But we're ready to start handing out diplomas. Graduates, are you ready? Arvish Tinder. Cassie Hardesty. Patricia Villanueva. Bo Arvin. Maria Blacklands. She's not here today, but she still deserves a round of applause. Peyton Blackson. Angel Bordeaux. Jalen Barrow. Alan Bordeaux. <laughs> Alina Brady. Asil <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Willie Bronco Bill. <laughs> Carly Brown. Justice Bullchos. <laughs> Benjamin Burningrass. Shalissa Charging Elk. <laughs> Crystal Chips.
Another student who's not with us today, Raymond Garcia. Sebastian Gary. Mary Gillette. Isabella Gilpin. Alicia Gunhammer. Jace Henry. Marie 
Please make it loud. Amy Redday. Asia Richards. Amber Running. Old Sheila Running. Sierra Scott. Kendall Sharkey. <laughs> Nicholas Sears. <laughs> Gloria Sitting Bear. <laughs> Mosh Day Sleeping Bear. <laughs> Ralph Spotted Baron Spotted Tail. <laughs> Jeffrey Swan. <laughs> April Swiphop. <laughs> Orion Thunderhawk. Aaron Torres. <laughs> Allison Tubles. <laughs> Caitlin Warren Soldier. <laughs> Mapia Warren Soldier. Ariana Whitehead. <laughs> Brianna Whitehead. <laughs> Cyprian Whitehead. <laughs> Jacob White. <laughs> Royal White. Timothy Winters. <laughs> Douglas Yellowboy. <laughs> Cody Yellowhawk. <laughs> Jeremiah Young. For the past few months, we've been experiencing a new reality called COVID. Some of it has been frustrating, 
while some of it has been fun, and some has been frightening. This is not the first time we, as humans, have lived in a world in crisis. Not only disease, but conflict. The Black Death, polio, Spanish influenza, World War I, World War II, and 9-11. The important fact is that while we suffered, sacrificed, and changed, we have survived, even thrived. Once again, our world has been turned around, twisted up, and tilted sideways. Maybe it's not the world that's on that roller coaster, but it is our emotions. Hmm, sounds like graduating from high school to me. You've had your ups and downs, your wrong turns, and your side tracks, and yet, here you all are. There are a few quotes you'll recognize, even if you can't attribute the author to them, that might remind you of where you have come from. Experience is what you get when you didn't get what you wanted. And experience is often the most valuable thing you have to offer. And, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. No matter what you were feeling about living in a COVID world, you do have to live in it. However, what if COVID didn't mean social distancing, quarantine, and face masks? What if it was an acronym for your life? C, change. O, opportunity. V, values. I, identity. And D, drive, determination, and dreams. Let me tell you a fact that few people realize they live by. Your reality is what you make of it. By this, I mean you determine how you deal with the cards you are dealt in life. You can shape your reality by how you react to the facts of your life. You can live in Blame Town or Gratitudeville. Emperor Marcus Aurelius advised, you have the power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This is where my new definition of COVID comes in. I want you to stop and remember the changes you've experienced since you started this journey to graduation. There has been love, loss, laughter, learning, and longing. Who you were in kindergarten is not the same person graduating. What you wanted to do or to be has probably changed along the way. Sadly, people you love may not be active in your life now. So let's just boil this down. Change is reality. You can make change your friend or treat it as an enemy. My advice is to add flexibility to your toolbox. You cannot escape change, but you can accept it and even appreciate it. Take the change that is probably forefront in your mind right now. We are not all gathered together in the gymnasium. We did not rehearse the procession, nor did we create a fabulous montage of images of the seniors then and now. We didn't get to do the senior honoring. The question is, what did we get? What positive perception can we have of the 2020 COVID graduation? The answer is one you will have to discover for yourself. Or you can wallow in the disappointment. The O in the new COVID definition represents opportunities. You've had chances to grow, learn, and try new experiences throughout your journey to graduation. I urge you to continue to prepare for opportunities. Seneca says, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Be lucky. Be prepared. Never been out of the country? Take the risk and go make new discoveries. Afraid of going away to school or taking a job out of state? Be bold and make the most of it. Work hard, be reliable, and keep your eyes open. You don't want to miss the happiness and adventure that will come knocking on your door. In order to be prepared and have faith in yourself, you need a strong foundation. That's where the V comes in. V equals values. What you believe in, what you live by, and what centers and grounds you are your values. Perhaps yours are family, compassion, caring for others, making a difference, doing what's right. The list is endless. Know yours. Find yours. And you will never be alone in this world or afraid of taking an opportunity to grow. It doesn't mean your life will be a bed of roses, but it means that no matter how rough the road gets, you've got the tools to survive and conquer. Those values, your experiences, and your reactions to those experiences have formed you into the individual you are today. All of those have contributed to your identity, the I in COVID. As you graduate, you're starting a new phase of your life where your identity is going to continue to be created. It's the ultimate work in progress. 
maybe you want to be a different person than you are today. You're in charge, make it happen. Want to be braver? Want to be wiser? Want to be happy? No one can create your reality but you. How you see yourself is the reality you live in. You can live your life like Randy Pausch or Tanya Whirlwind Soldier and not let your disease define you. You define you. Don't let anyone or anything take that power of identity away. Finally, we have the D in COVID. There are so many Ds that could divine this letter. And no, I'm not talking about a letter grade. D is determination, drive, and dreams. You have to have all three, starting with a dream. What's yours? It doesn't have to be my dream for you, your family's dream for you, or even the world's dream for you. It has to be yours. If it's not yours, you won't have the drive to make it come true. Drive means pushing forward and working every day to achieve that dream. Without determination, drive can falter. When brick walls appear in your pursuit of your dream, you have to be determined to eliminate them by climbing over them, going around them, digging under them, getting a buddy to help you mount the wall, or even destroying that wall. You've encountered walls before. Some are people. Some are your own attitudes, and some are circumstances. Don't let a wall keep you from your dream. One other note, dreams can grow and change. Remember to be flexible and allow yourself to choose a new dream. Sometimes what we learn in pursuit of a dream is more valuable than achieving it. COVID is what you make of it. So start today with changing your reality. Do something every morning to start your day on a positive, successful note. And then, no matter what the day brings, you have at least one positive to look back on. An admiral giving a graduation speech said to make your bed. That's not what I'm good at, but I can give at least one positive comment to someone else every day. Keep your dream and be conscious of every minuscule step toward it. I went to class on time today, or I completed all my tasks at work, or I wrote a new poem. Whatever it is you are doing, be purposeful. You have a plan, you have the drive, and now all you have to do is go make your dream your reality. Hello, my lovelies. I just wanted to say goodbye. Um, it's been, for some of us, a long four years where I've gotten to have you every year or see you every year, and so I'm really going to miss you. For others, I've only gotten to know you this year, but that doesn't mean I don't love you. And I know you have people in your life where your teachers say, I love you, but I really do. You guys are my kids. So I want you to know that no matter where you go or what you do, I'm probably still going to be here. And if you've had my class, you've got my cell number. You've got my email. You can always call me if you need to talk, to visit. But just know this, I'm still here. I'm still thinking about you, still hoping for the best for you. So go out and do yourselves proud. Find that life that you want for yourself. I love you, Miss Rich. And good luck next year, whatever you're going to do.